What's up guys, how the heck are you doing? Welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Drusifer and on this channel I talk about filmmaking and photography, tips, tricks, and tutorials. And today's video is no exception because we're gonna be talking all about using LUTs in DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna be talking about how to create them, how to use them, and how to download them, preferably from my website, and it will drastically speed up your workflow. So whether you're just trying to cut time down on the time you spend editing, or just the time you spend color grading, or just get a consistent look from your camera to your editor, or just consistent look across all your videos, then this is the video for you. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and let's jump into it right now. All right guys, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve on the Mac. Using and creating and installing LUTs is virtually the same process on the Mac as it is the PC, so you can follow along no matter what operating system you're on. It is also virtually the same for the iPad with just a few minor differences, so we'll hop over to the iPad at the end of this video so I can show you guys how to do it there as well. So here we are on the color tab, which is Shift-6, in DaVinci Resolve. If you look up here in the left hand corner, this is your LUTs tab and this allows me to toggle on and off the LUTs and the LUTs that I currently have installed in my version of DaVinci Resolve. So some of these LUTs are pre-installed by Blackmagic Design themselves, others are third-party LUTs and some are LUTs that I created. So as you go through these LUTs, you have some folders that you can open and some of these LUTs are just out here in the open and if you hover over them, it shows you what that LUT would look like on your footage over here on your source monitor in the middle. So for example, if I was to put this invert color LUT on my footage, you can see how it would change it there. So what we wanna do is I'm gonna show you how to create a LUT um, so the reason you would want to create a LUT is maybe you have a lot of footage from the same place. It is a good way for you to uh, just quickly color grade or color correct all that footage at once. Or creating a LUT would also help you keep a consistent look for your visual aesthetic from video to video here on YouTube or on your films. Also, creating LUTs is a good way for you to generate income as a creator because this is how your favorite creators make money a lot of times through their website is by creating digital assets like LUTs. If we wanted to create a LUT on this footage here, it is just some cathedral footage that I shot a couple years back. You can see that it is log footage or it is black magic raw. It is just washed out as it is right now. So what I want to do is one of my favorite LUTs is already included by Blackmagic Design here in DaVinci, and it is the Airy Alexa Turek 709 LUT. And you can sort of see how well that plays with that Blackmagic RAW footage. So if I wanted to use this LUT, I would just double click on it, and it puts it on my footage. And you can see if I scrub through this footage, it's, it's on there. But what if I want to do something a little different to this LUT? and make it my own. So if I was to uh, start messing with this LUT, I would probably give it a slight S curve, which would darken my shadows a little bit, bring up my highlights some, and then I would go over here to my color wheel panel and I would bump the saturation up to really make those colors pop. And then I would probably take up my gamma just a hair, and then let me see. I would probably drive up my mid-tones, bring down my shadows, um, and without getting too far into what I would do to this footage, um, let's say this is how I wanted it to look. So over here is the node. So this is essentially a layer in your color panel. If I wanted to toggle this on and off, Command D, that's what it was before we did anything to it, and this is what it is after. So if we wanted to download this LUT to sell, or we wanted to download this LUT for later use, what I would do is I'd go over here to my clip, right click, 
and then I would find the option generate LUT. And then I have these different options, 17 point, 33 point, or 65 point. So I'll link to a good article down below that explains the difference between these, but essentially that is the amount of sampling that that LUT is going to do when applied to footage. Essentially 65 point is the best, so I'm going to click 65 point because that's what I always use my LUTs as. So when you do that, it brings up um, this menu here that allows you to save it on your system. So I'm just going to put uh, Cathedral LUT 2. And uh, that is what we're going to save this as, if I can spell, Cathedral LUT 2 and it will automatically put it in the right folder for you, which is the DaVinci Resolve LUT folder. So I'm gonna hit save. Now, in order for us to find this LUT, we need to go back and we need to make sure that it is in our pane here. So we have it right here. So if we reset this node grade, we can go here and we can click it and that is our Cathedral LUT 2. Uh, LUT. You see it um, right here. So if I double click that, then that is our LUT. If I wanted to add that same footage to or that same LUT to a different piece of footage, I would just click a different piece of footage, click on that LUT, and there you have it. And it adds it wherever I want it. So this is with our Cathedral LUT that we just made. I can toggle that on and off with Command D. That's what the footage looked like straight out of camera. That's what the LUT we just created. And you can see the difference. It's like night and day. So that is how you create a LUT, and if you wanted to download it to maybe sell it, um, then what you would do is the same process. You would generate the LUT, and then instead of saving it in the LUT folder, you would just save it on your desktop, and then you would get a LUT file, upload that to your website, give it to friends, do whatever you want with it. So installing LUTs is essentially the same process. So what you need to do is you need to find some LUTs that you want. So for example, if you head over to my website, you can go to the shop tab and scroll down to LUTs and presets and I have three free LUTs for you guys. They are these three right here. Green Inferno GoPro LUT, the Santa Carla Adobe Premiere LUT, which is, can also be used in uh, DaVinci Resolve, and the Suspiria Instant Film LUT. So all you gotta do is just click on these, add them to your cart, and download them. All you have to do to download them is go back into DaVinci Resolve and then go to your project settings, which is all the way down in the far right corner. That's the little gear icon. You click on that and you go to Open LUT Folder. Now when you do that, it brings up this folder here. And then wherever you downloaded those LUTs to, and let's say that you saved one of those LUTs to your download folder right here, all you would do is drag and drop that into your LUT folder. And there you have it. You can see down here in the bottom, we have Green Inferno, Santa Carla, and Suspiria. Now, once you have that done, you go back over to DaVinci, you hit update lists and hit save. And then those LUTs that you installed that way will be over here in this LUT panel. So using LUTs is as simple as just applying them to the footage. Now, not all LUTs are created equal. Not all LUTs are going to react to your footage the same way. So for example, here's just some random GoPro footage of me sitting in front of this river just hanging out. If I add this green Inferno LUT to this footage, it looks pretty cool. It stylizes it, makes it look kind of neat. But let's say that that LUT just added way too much of a grade and we don't like it. So we would have to go down here to our keying tab and then we could go to our key output uh, value here and we could dial back how much of that grade actually gets applied to our footage or how much of that LUT actually gets applied to the footage. You see when I slide it back and forth left and right, you could see that it darkens it or it lightens it. So that is how you would fix that problem. Or you could just go over here and you could start messing with your exposure controls, uh, your gamma controls and that sort of stuff um, to mess around with that LUT. Um, so that's essentially how you use and how you create and download your own LUTs. Now let's talk about how to do this on the iPad. 
All right guys, so here we are on the iPad. I'm gonna show you how to install LUTs here. So we're on my website and I just went through the process of downloading those LUTs. So it will bring you up a box asking you where you want to open these or download them. And I'm gonna just say open in downloads. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that LUT and I'm going to long press on it. And when I do that, it will give me the option to move that LUT. And I'm gonna move that LUT, I'm gonna go on my iPad, DaVinci Resolve folder, LUT folder, and I'm gonna hit move. And then I'm going to, it's just asking me if I wanna replace it because I've done this already. And then when I go into DaVinci Resolve, and I go over here to my LUT panel, you'll see that I have that Suspiria LUT here. And it works exactly the same way. You can just uh, toggle it on and off. You can reset your node grade. You can apply it by double clicking it and essentially the same process as the PC and the Mac. Now, if I wanted to create a LUT, it is exactly the same way. I long press on it, generate LUT, 65 point cube LUT, and then I can name it and save it on my iPad. Simple as that. So that's it guys, using LUTs is a simple and easy process. Not only does it allow you to cut down the amount of time that you spend editing, but it allows you to speed bind the time you spend color grading as well. And in addition to that, it allows you to keep a consistent look through all of your YouTube videos and your films when you find an established LUT that you like. So make sure that you follow the links down in the description that will link you over to my website to download some of the free LUT that I talked about in this video. And while you're there, check out some of the merch. And if you like some, pick some up because that is a good way to help support me and help support these channels and create these videos as well. Beyond that, make sure that if you're getting value out of these videos, you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any killer content from the Drew Super channel. And as always, guys, stay rad, just go shoot, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.